watching It's Bible Time, where I We're in. Uh, read from the Bible and say words about it. You're here. Welcome to the It's Bible Time show, where I read from the Bible and say words about it. But before we do that, first, a segment I like to call Things I Like. Fish, the Chosen, see Jesus through the eyes of those he touched. TCB, what is this? A witch hunt? No, no, it's Trey Clarkson Band. The ship, special edition coffee mugs, now for sale. Hostess Ding Dongs. That's right. I like Ding Dongs. Go tell everyone you know. Hey, he likes Ding Dongs. That's right, everybody. I want my wife, my kids, and my grandchildren all to know. Hey, he likes Ding Dongs. Hmm. Hostess Ding Dongs. I like Ding Dongs, and you should too. Hi, and welcome to It's Bible Time. It's Bible Time is where I read from the Bible, which is for absolutely anybody, no matter who you are, or where you're from, or the color of your interior. You need to know what this says. Bible time isn't just for anybody. It's for everybody. It's Bible time. Why aren't you watching it? You should. You may say, hey, I just don't like it. I don't like the way he talks. I don't like how his desk is arranged. I don't like how it smells. Look, I don't care. Look, just the point here is it's Bible time. Just just watch it. Just watch it. It's by Bi it's Bible time. Just watch it. Your kids, your grandma, your grandma's kids. Everybody gather around and listen to the Bible. Jonathan, open us in prayer. Father, 
ラララfriends I yeah there's a there's a lot of you there's a lot of you on our 1500 you don't understand I, I I never I never I never see this amount of people whenever I do any of these uh, <laughs> that's incredible wow um, welcome to uh, my humble boat um, So tonight, uh, I will just get right to it. Um, uh, first of all, I'm going to call in some of my spirit and then. Uh, anything worth doing is always worth starting with prayer before you do it. Heavenly Father, thank you for this time, the opportunity to get to connect with the hundreds and almost thousands of people that have. Uh, been so supportive of, my, of me, my work, and my ministry to um, to bring an interpretation of Jesus to people so that they may relate to him more personally. Um, I thank you for uh, the opportunity to connect in a meaningful way with all of these folks. Uh, bless this conversation. Bless our video interactions. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was Jonathan. <clears throat> As always, uh, we did. Okay, thanks. Today is a very special day. It's called Good Friday, not because it's my dad's birthday, but because a guy was crucified. That's why, because Jesus was crucified. That is why it's called Good Friday. And I would have loved to have been there during that meeting. There's at least one guy there that had to have been like, mm, mm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about good. I don't know about good. 2,000 years later, nobody bats an eyelid. Well, this is fantastic. Is no one, is no one going to say anything? Is no one going to say anything? Am I the only one? Okay. Because it's Good Friday. Because it's good. Because it's Good Friday. I'm going to be relighting this candle. <laughs> Today. <clears throat> Today, we're in Matthew 4. You may ask uh, why pages of the Bible are scattered about my desk. Well, that's so I can read them and study them better. Just like, oh, yes. Here's this page here. Here's makes it easier for me to gather the information. The important thing is that you read your Bible. That's what's important. All right, that's it. You're going to the doctor. He's going to the doctor, everyone. Wish him well. 
Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. After fasting 40 days and nights, he was hungry. The tempter came to him and said, If you are the Son of God, then tell these stones to become bread. It is written, man shall, man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes out of God's mouth. Then the devil took him to the holy city and had him stand on the highest point of the temple. He said, Are we right back? Oh my goodness, Mr. Socks, be careful. Be careful, Mr. Socks, meow meow. If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down. For it is written he will command his angels concerning you they will lift up their hands so that you will not strike your foot against the stone It's also written, Do not put the Lord your God to the test. Again, the devil took him to a very high mountain and showed him the kingdoms of the world and their splendor. All of this I will give to you if you will bow down and worship me. <laughs> to him get away from me satan for it's written worship the lord your god and serve him only then the devil left him and angels came to attend him jesus begins to preach when jesus heard that john had been Put to prison, he withdrew to Galilee. Leaving Nazareth, he went and lived in Capernaum, which was by the lake, in the area of Zebulun. And that had lead to fulfill what was said through the prophet Isaiah. Land of Zebulun of Zebulun and land of Naphtali, the way of the sea.
beyond the Jordan, Galilee, of the Gentiles, the people living in darkness, have seen a great light on those living in the land of the shadow of death. A light has dawned. From that time on, Jesus began to preach. Repent for the kingdom of heaven has come near. Jesus calls his first disciples as Jesus was walking beside the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, called Peter, and his brother, Andrew. They were casting a net in the lake, for they were fishermen. <laughs> Come, follow me. Jesus said, and I will make you fishers of men. At once they left their nets and followed him. Going on from there, he saw two other brothers, James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John. They were in a boat with their father Zebedee pairing their nets. Jesus called them and immediately they left their boats and their father and followed him. Jesus heals the sick? Jesus went throughout Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and healing every disease and sickness among people. News about him spread all over Syria and people brought to him all who were ill with various diseases, those suffering with severe pain, the demon-possessed, those having seizures, and the paralyzed. And he healed them, large crowds from Galilee and Decapolis, Jerusalem and Judea and the region across the Jordan follow him. This has been it for uh It's Bible time. Can you stop kicking me out of your churches now? Okay, good night.
So play nice.